tutorial where I'm guys and welcome to my video tutorial where I'm going to show you how to set up web GUI to manage KPM virtual machines. I have already made a post on my blog. If you don't want to watch video, you can check out my post. The address of my blog is yfatel.tech. Just hit enter and you will visit you will see my blog. So now the first basic requirement is you need to install docker on your host so we are going to use the docker's official guide for installation i am running debian so i am clicking on that so let me connect to my server first okay so we are connected to the server Okay, so we don't have any old version, so we are not going to remove that. Okay, so first command is to run apt-get update. I am running as root, so I don't need to add sudo. So it is updating right now. <clears throat> now all we need to do is just select and copy paste this whole command hit y and wait for the installation process so basically we are adding docker's official repo in our system so we need this gpg key also let's copy this command and wait for the downloading process to finish so yes guys this process can take little bit of time now we need to enter the command to add gpg key so, so now we need to enter the command to add gpg key just copy paste it and hit enter okay so i have made a mistake i need to remove sudo yes so it says okay the key is added we don't need to verify it so yes we are running x8664 or amd64 so we need to run this command Now it will make entry in our source.list file. So now let's uh, quickly run it update. We can see the uh, docker repo is added. Download.docker.com. So all we need to do is run it install docker pe. Yeah and they are suggesting docker ce tool hit and y and wait for the installation process to finish so the docker is installed but uh, just a small note before starting the installation process if you are running centos 7 and for some reasons you want to run virtualbox instead of kvm i have made a separate post here you can check it out here you can run virtual box uh, with web GUI on CentOS 7. I have made a detailed post. Make sure to check it out if you are uh, running CentOS 7. So now let's back to the installation. So first of all, we need to create a directory in a home which is called workmen. Uh, we are creating this directory before, because we have mentioned this path here. If you want to, you can change this path. But if you are a new guy, new to docker, you don't know what you are doing, then I don't suggest you to change it. So all you need to do is just copy paste this whole command. But if you want to run it on a different port, then you can edit the port here on the left side. But I don't recommend changing these ports. So now just paste and enter. Now it says unable to find image locally so it will download the image from docker hub this image is created by dj dev thanks to him for making it possible so as you can see it's pulling the files This can take time depending on your internet connection. 
our container is almost ready to use but let's make sure it's running so enter this command docker ps so as you can see our container is running to <coughs> now let's find out ip of our system of course i know ip of my system but in case you don't know it issue this command ip awdr and this is my IP. make sure to enter port 5800 after your ip because this uh, gui is running on that port so let's quickly visit 3 5800 so that's it it says libvd service does not appear to be installed because i don't have kvm installed right now on my server but i have my second server where kvm is installed let's connect so i'll go to add connection and you take connect to remote host over ssh okay root is fine so as you, uh, now we are going to add host name so 192 168.197.4 but uh, sometimes you cannot enter directly here with your keyboard if you face that issue click here on keyboard on uh, clipboard and enter your value 197.4 click submit then let's see pressing ctrl v and it's here now press connect it is asking for say yes and then enter password as you can see i am running i am connected to my second server kvm so that's it if you face any issues uh, during installation or during setup or anything make sure to comment here on youtube or leave a comment on my blog Thanks for watching bye bye stay tuned for more